Hey guys, Shane here with Monkeying Around. Wanted to show you a little quick video this morning. Something I've done. I made a, um, basically a rescue bag. It's not a bag, it's a bottle. Um, it's a small drink bottle I got from my wife. And all I did was drill a hole in it. Now they sell the rescue bags at Walmart. They're about 20 bucks. I think All Good Products makes them. Um, and it's got 50 foot of rope in it. You toss the bag out if you got to rescue somebody. They're coming down the river or something. They got a problem. Toss the bag out. They grab it. You pull them into you. Simple concept. Real simple. Probably never use it. But that's 20 bucks. It's basically a waste. Because you're really never going to, hopefully, hopefully you'll never use it. So I was thinking, you know what? Why can't I do that in the same concept? Just make it um, myself and save the 20 bucks. So I took a water bottle and... Uh, drilled a little hole in the cap and run my 550 cord through. On the end, I made a little loop and I put me a carabiner on it. So that way I can hook it to something if I need to or, you know, whatever. Hook it to my gear, hook it to my kayak, um, hook it to myself, whatever I need to do. But then I ran my, uh, my 550 cord. I went to Walmart and bought um, $5 worth of 550 cord. It's about 50 foot and wrapped it around a dowel and then just run it into my bottle. To, to I did it around the dowel to kind of help keep it from getting um, tangled up or, or tied up so that way I don't throw it and get 10 foot and get a knot and it won't come out the rest of the way. I hope that works, I haven't tried it yet. But um, I got me 50 foot of pink orange, depending on what, you know, what color you say it is. It's pink, it's orange. Um, 550 cord so it's it's more visible you can see it better and then I put a little wax in the bottom of my bottle if you can see there I melted a candle put a little wax in it and then that way the hope is I've not tried it yet I'm gonna try it out here pretty soon but the hope is that um, when it hits the water it's gonna want to set up almost because this part's gonna want to sink down the top of the bottle is gonna want to float so it'll actually kind of set in water and um, be visible in case you don't quite get it to whoever you're trying to rescue. And I did this simply because hopefully you'll never use it, but I was watching a video of some guys backpacking on YouTube and uh, they come up to a river and they were gonna cross the river. When they got to the river, there was already a group there trying to cross and the group got in a little trouble, need a little help. So what they did was they threw them a rope um, and helped pull them across the river and get them, uh, get them across the river with no trouble at all. So hopefully you'll never need it but who wants to spend 20 bucks on something that you might or might not need when you can take a water bottle, um, Gatorade bottle, something big enough so that the rope can kind of get down in there and not get tangled up, have a little room, I guess, to move. But um, for a Gatorade bottle, $5 worth of rope and a $2 carabiner, you've got, you know, six, seven bucks into a rescue something that you might or might not ever need so we're gonna try it out on my first big trip i've got a big kayak and camping trip coming up in uh just about a week so hopefully i can give it a shot then i'm gonna get out on the river and play around with some of the gear i got but i'm gonna give it a chance shot then and see how it does but um hey seven bucks eight bucks you've got you a little rescue um uh, bag per se it's not a bag it's a bottle but this one i'm hoping will float unlike the ones at walmart i, I don't see that they would float because it's just a bag of rope so um check it out and for about seven bucks you got your rescue bag hit subscribe if you like monkeying around